guys welcome back to my channel so it's run by cheryl and i don't really know what this title is going to be but i'm sure it will be about college and decisions or maybe out of college so i realized um it's may and then of may and most universities in ghana and i think around the world have graduating students so i want to use the opportunity to say congratulations you made it we are left with your grace to come out but with prayers and with god on your side i know you guys are going to make it and for those of you probably due to some courses you didn't write due to some eyes you didn't finish so you got low marks or some grades you couldn't catch up with probably you are going to have a downturn or something that shouldn't discourage you that should um, move you forward don't be discouraged when your friends are graduating and you are not please don't be discouraged um, i know it's easier to say than to be done but i have witnessed it before and i want to tell you not to give up so before we get into this video i want you to take a minute and hit the subscribe button down below the red button down below and subscribe to the channel follow me on my ig glam by cheryl on ig so without further ado let's get into the video so i completed university in ghana college outside of africa ghana in 2017 i completed in 2017 that's two years ago 17th may was exactly two years i wrote my last paper so yeah so um i realized that a lot of you for me that's what i did after school i went on youtube and other social media networks to find out what people are doing or what they are seeing and i realized that i need to do the same now that i'm out of school and people are now coming i need to do the same so um i just want to talk about um, a few things so for one if you are out of uni you know in ghana you have to do your national service and in some other parts of africa you need to do service to your country so in ghana and i mean don't mind my my little puff here i was trying my best my, my hair is in the mess and i need to do something about it so today you know so let me look like what was that okay so you have to do national service so in ghana i'm talking about ghanaians you need to do national service so i just want to tell you guys that you may be posted to some place that you do not even you've not even heard of you don't panic if you have the opportunity to change it you have to write letters to the office and everything if you get opportunity to change it that's fine but if you do not get opportunity to change it i will encourage you to still go i'm saying go and do the service because after that one you may be maintained because probably they don't have enough people there so once they take you there you are it's a, a high possibility that you are going to be maintained and you don't have to come out looking for jobs and be unemployed you don't have to do that but if you are posted to somewhere within your neighborhood like in Accra you are very lucky you are in a corporate institution you are very lucky but you should know that it takes your attitude to keep you there and when you're in a corporate institution high like highly uh, uh, how do I even put this like a lot of things are demanded from you especially you being a graduate every employer is thinking you can think on your own you can think on your feet and then you are proactive so this is something that i want to share with you guys that you have to be proactive if you are if you would be posted to a corporate institution here in accra or in the capital cities or any corporate institution you have to be proactive you have to know how to think on your feet and you have to think highly of yourself and i'm not saying be proud no but think highly of yourself and also you go and meet people who were there before you came so if you meet people like <laughs> oh god sorry so if you meet people obviously there are people there before you came in you have to do national service 
number one thing you must know is that at least one or two people in that company are going to treat you like a nobody because they'll treat you like you just came out of school you know nothing and you've come to the working world they've been here before you take it as such take it like when you were in high school the first time you went how the seniors looked at you take it like that by you fought your way through you learn so that you can be promoted and you can also be a senior it's the same scenario at the workplace try your best and be the senior that you want to be make sure you do not step on anybody's toes but if you do because everybody's liable to mistakes so if you do step on somebody's toes please apologize to them and then move on you hear me please move on apologize and move on and one they are going to treat you like a nobody at national service some people some companies have the best of employees and you are not going to have any problems so for that you are really blessed and god is really on your side even if they treat you like shit god is really on your side so don't worry about it and i just want to encourage you again that after national service, it will be over soon before you know it. I'm telling you, it will be over soon before you know it. But the second thing I want to tell you is that no matter how much you are given, please save. You know, um, some of you may be thinking, why should I be saving this small money that they are giving us? Why should I be saving it? Because after school, I'm going to get work or they are going to maintain us. And don't lie to yourself. Anything can happen. So save as much as you can. Don't need to be buying nice clothes and wasting it on clothes and stuff. Save as much money as you can. So that after school, if the inevitable happens, like you don't get a job right away, you are not maintained, you can be able to have some money to take care of yourself till you get a job. So I'm begging you for one, be prepared that probably one or two people are going to treat you like shit. But don't worry about it. You will push through, you will make it. Step on somebody's toes, apologize. Sincerely do apologize and move on and try to be better. Thirdly, please, please save your money. Save your money for future rains that will may come. But I wish you guys all the best. I wish that you be posted to very good places where you can be maintained after, places where you can actually learn. And I forgot one thing, it's not all the time that you'll be given positions like parallel to the course you studied. You may be given a completely different position in the national service period in your posting. Or when you get to the company, they will make you do some really, really dumb work like sending you here and there, print papers for me, do this, do that, do it and do it well and learn it to your heart because whatever they're asking you to do it's called administrative work and you can put that on your cv and that's what it may be your entry level to an organization where you might go and be a manager there one day so when they're telling you to do photocopies they are telling you to run errands paste things on the notice board and other stuff don't be discouraged i promise you it's going to pay off so please please be humble and do it and even if you're humble somebody there might notice how humble you are and how receptive you are to work and they might speak in for you when your service is about to end and then you might get a place so thank you guys so much for watching i just wanted to pass through and give this little advice so See you guys in my next video. Say hi to my big teddy over here. So I got him as a gift and he's really cute. He's making my background really pop. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, if you've not subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Yeah, bye.